church. My father is an Episcopalian priest. I was brought up on a pretty regular church attendance and, and knowing more about the ins and outs of which vestments go on over which other ones and what colors are associated with times of church year than anybody ever ought to. And this is why it's especially odd that I spent two years at Catholic school. But anyway, um, after that, uh, not especially, let us say, extremist or pious, but certainly thorough religious upbringing, I've, I've, I've kind of lapsed in, in recent years. You know, I'm part Episcopalian, so I've turned into this kind of, you know, generic, liberal, agnostic type, because, you know, if I'd been brought up Catholic, I'd actually be an atheist now instead. Um, but I don't go to church that much anymore. Like me, like me. And um, so last time I did, a while back, old friend of the family and longtime parishioner of my dad's church was being ordained to the priesthood. This is like the big step of her, her life. You know, the, the, most, the most original response to a midlife crisis I've ever seen in anyone was to join the priesthood. And so I, I drive up, what should be about a five and a half hour drive, and it's close to seven because we love PennDOT, and it is our friend, and only hits us because it loves us. And I get there, midway through the service, I've been too hung up. I like, so I kind of sneak in the back, like right as they're finishing the offertory possession, and so like kind of hiding behind some guy in a white robe, like, is it safe to go up the aisle yet? Because I never want to sit down. So like that, or I like sneak off to the bathroom. Um, so I, I, I get it, I take my place, and I realize after a moment, I've forgotten when you stand up. I can no longer remember which bits of the service one kneels and stands up for. And I'm just kind of like trying to keep an eye on everybody else, like looking at the. It's like, okay, is this. Now, this is this is the communion prayer, and we're kneeling for the first half, or is this. You should like me. Oh, Lord Christ, when thou camest to earth, thou incarnated on you to shake it all about. And, <laughs> and so I'm mean, like. In the middle of this, I'm like half rising just as everybody else is moving from sitting to kneeling, so I have this, you know, moment of nutcracker sweep going beep, 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 and I, I, I look around like, shit, nobody saw that, right? <laughs> I'm kneeling like everybody else, yay God, and I look up at the front of the church by the altar, and the bishop, whom I've known since I was about 12, who is the, the wisest and holiest and in some ways the funniest man I've ever been acquainted with, looks at me. Right in the eye, right as I'm, and he goes, <laughs> 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 made my home.